Good morning everybody, Johnny B. Good here, located today in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Today is Thursday, November 7, 2013. Local time here is 9-11. And it is a whopping 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's very, very windy and cold and damp. <coughs> the good news is, is I got 20 more days, 20 more days and I'll be home. I have been scheduled to go home November 27. I am to be home a day before Thanksgiving for a much, much needed five days time off. Anyway, uh, we're about to descend from this Mount Eagle going uh, westbound. I don't know why Tom just decided to turn off. I think Tom is on strike today. Hey, there goes a WEL truck. I am on my way to Auburndale, Indiana. Auburndale, Indiana. Um, good news is I'm about 500 miles I think it is bad news is I don't deliver until tomorrow at 1600 but it is what it is right <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah, oh, look at those beautiful, beautiful God's creation. Ah, oh, what else is going on today? Slow down, Blue. Slow down. little bit of a recap after uh, Jacksonville or Baldwin Florida they had me deadhead to McDonough Georgia picked up a load at the terminal delivered it to Montgomery Alabama from Montgomery Alabama they had me deadhead back to Atlanta, Georgia, which I then dropped and hooked at a Sunny Delight facility. And this is what I got right now, a Sunny Delight load going to Walmart in Auburndale, uh, in Auburn, Auburn, Indiana. Oh, that place is a dust bowl. Look, 
Look how the way those leaves are falling. As you can see, I'm not even on the brake. The blue over here is doing real well with the uh, Jake brake. guys are wondering what that noise is it's this one right here every time I touch one of these lines either the solid white line or the zipper that thing goes off That one there, that means I'm 10 miles over the speed limit, which I'm not. I hope I got you guys pointed in a better position today. Last time I think it was pointing way up where you guys were kind of getting more up here, not less down here. Anyway, ah, the sun showed up. That's nice. What else is going on today? Oh, AJ, my daughter, she's uh, she's not doing too good. She's been having cough and uh, for almost a week now. Really hard, hard cough. In fact, she missed Friday school. I think she missed Monday. Finally, her mom took her to a doctor. And it turns out she's got bronchitis. Doctor had to give her a prescription for that. But she's kind of still under observation. Make sure that it's not, what do you call it, a whopping cough, I think it is, right? But she made it to school today, so that's a good thing. My 15 and a half year old daughter Jackie. Well, she's a teenager, so what do you expect? Hey, 
I, uh, I would like to pose this question to all of us. Now, all of us are somewhat, to a certain degree, self-centered, right? I mean, we we have the mentality of we got to take care of ourselves first. Could you hear that wind? Anyway, we we do have this mentality that you know our self comes first, and everyone else is second. To some of us, and we put a little bit too much on the uh, self attention, I guess. So here's the question. If self-centeredness was to be budgeted like we budget our money, what would be the mo what would be the minimum amount of self-centeredness that we can survive on? For example, is it can we live on can we live on 50% can we live on 25% can we live on uh, live on 15% what if some of us could live our lives with 10% and the rest we do it for others. What would be the minimum amount that we can live our life of selflessness, selfless life, and the rest we devote it to taking somebody else's? If all of us were to live like that, wow. I take care of you, you take care of me. We don't have to take care of ourselves because Everybody having, everybody is living on a 10% take care of me and, you know. Can you imagine the nation that we will be? I have recently learned that there are more people out of work now than the actual people that are working. And guess what is the what is the uh, fastest growing occupation right now? Government assistance is the number one occupation right now. And it's growing faster and faster and faster. And yet, we are still functioning as a, a nation. And they recently did a survey also that there are more people out there who really doesn't want to go to work. They just, they have no desire to work. They just want to, they just want to be on welfare. There was a, a time in history where people had the satisfaction and 
sense of accomplishment of the work that they do it made them felt good to be actually you know to actually work out there somewhere but that is now diminishing more and more and the availability of government assistance Of uh, what do you call it now? Self entitlement. It's kind of it's kind of hard to get motivated to go to work when you make more money doing nothing. Than to actually work. I myself will not be mighty to say I'd rather take the hundred dollars and the three hundred dollars doing nothing right if I was to go to work and just make a hundred dollars supposed to doing nothing making more oof. That's one temptation that I would not be able to shine upon, I guess. Shine through or... Can you imagine what 17 trillion dollars is? It doesn't take a genius to figure out they can never fix this. Something has to blow up. Something has to end. This is one debt even if the whole world were to put their resource on. I can never be repaid. And yet our government wants to spend more and more. the scale over here in Manchester Tennessee is closed see the sign open when flashing it's not flashing and that's a very good sign in fact it's off the ground it's under construction yes I guess they're not going to be opening anytime soon. By the way, for the last uh, week or so, 
This camera has been set up at 720p, supposed to my original setting of, what was that, uh, 780 or no, no. I can't remember anymore. But I, I don't know if you guys can I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between the quality of this video now that it's only on 720 as opposed to the highest quality earlier. I really, I don't, I've never uh, understood the difference between the 30 and the 60. I think the 30 has got a, the 30 has got a what, uh, a deeper zoom, a smaller frame than the 60 maybe. The 60 is probably, a bigger angle? I don't know what that is. You guys can hear that humming, right? Gotta love it when the sun is behind you. That sign says Tullahoma, Tullahoma, Tennessee. But I know that this is Manchester right here. Special shout out again to PJ De Guzman, who is in Chicago visiting his uh, very sick aunt. PJ, I am in Manchester, uh, Tennessee, headed for Auburn, Indiana, delivering to one of your Walmart distribution center just sent me a message it says it's me PJ John are you on the road going to Walmart yes PJ I am going to Walmart I will be delivering my load tomorrow at 1600 DJ, I hope your aunt gets better. I hope she gets well. I don't know where that noise is coming from. I know it's kind of windy out there, but what's causing that aerodynamically, I have no idea.
Anyway. I guess you guys have seen enough, so we'll cut it here. I do have, uh, I do have something I want to read to you guys. I don't know if it's still here or not. I'm gonna read something it's on uh, Acts 2 verse 38 to 39 Peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit the promise is for you all, uh, for you and your children, and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God has called. That is the word for today. Peace.